Namaste everyone. Today we'll be looking at auto layout. If you don't know what auto layout is, it is Figma's answer to the dynamic nature of web design. So let's start with buttons. So we'll be starting with a very traditional button. Um, we'll just be creating a normal looking button. Um, let's just get the basics here. Let's add our text. Uh, let's select the layer and rename it to background. And then let's change the text size to yeah, 14 pixels. And we'll be changing the color. Let's skip this blue color that we have saved. Let's change this to white. And I have also I have also uh, saved a filter icon. So let's bring that here. And our button looks ready there. All right. So this is a very simple button, right? And but the problem with this is that if we try to increase the width I mean write a longer text this the buttons background does not adjust to fit in this new design um, and that is where auto layout comes in really handy so let's just convert this into auto layout that we can do by selecting all of these layers and hitting shift a so this now is an auto layout all right so the first thing that we notice after converting this into auto layout is that if we look inside this frame our background layer is gone that is because figma automatically applies the properties of the background layer to the frame itself all right the color and the border radius and the cor corner radius is has been applied to the frame itself and that is why they have removed the background layer okay now if we write anything this will adjust accordingly so let's just see what is happening here so as soon as we convert this into auto layout this panel appears in the inspector okay and the first one is the direction of our content it has been set to horizontal if i change it to vertical this is what will happen all right so we don't want this let's change it back to horizontal if this was something like a list maybe we would have changed it to vertical and this would have made sense let's leave it to horizontal the next thing we see here is uh, so as soon as we change it into horizontal, uh, it will give us these two options. So the options are for the height of this particular frame. And the first one is the auto height, which is set to this layer right to this frame right now. And the next is a fixed height. So that means if we change it to this, and let's say if we have multiple lines, so the button does not, the background does not adjust according to this new acquired height but if we leave it to say auto height and now if we change the height of the button changes we don't need this but either way just let's leave it to auto and after that the next three values that we see here so these are for spaces within and around this particular uh, content of this particular button so the first one is the horizontal padding so which basically means it will change the left and right spaces around the content of this particular button let's leave it to 12 all right and the next one is the vertical padding which is the top and bottom spaces of this of the content of this button so if we decrease it will change accordingly if we increase the uh, padding the top and bottom spaces 
changes accordingly. Let's leave it to 12. The last one is the spacing between the content of this button. So there are two contents within this button, the filter icon and the text. So if I change it into 12, it will change according. I can even do this. So pretty simple. All right. So that means if I have a new layer within these, within this button, um, it will, the new layer will add after 12 pixels. So if I duplicate this, so this is a new layer and the distance between all of these layers is 12 pixels. Let's say we want to add another button but that button only has text uh, export, right? So and it will work really nicely because this is our auto layout button. We can even go ahead and change our icon to something else and this works really well. Now we can build upon the strength of this auto layout even more by converting this button to a symbol. So let me just hit command option K. This will change it into a symbol. Now it is our auto layout but this is also a symbol now. Let's call it button. Now if we change it, if we need to have another button, let's say the same export button, then we can do this, everything that we did just now. Um, change it into export, yeah. Nothing is different, same. But let's say if we decided that the border radius is a lot more here, right, of our button. What if we want it 12 pixels? So since this is a symbol and this one is the instance of this symbol, it will change whatever changes we make to its master component. But then we can also override this instance. Let's say we can change the color to something else. So go ahead and start building dynamic buttons with the help of auto layout. Believe me, it will save you a lot of your time. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. I'll see you in the next. Take care and stay safe.